I figured it's something I absolutely love and they always say if you love your job then it's not like you're working. It is a business, it's a passion, um, and it's a passion for other people so I'm making other people's passions you know, come alive. My name is Josephine Gracci. I'm born and raised in New York City and as a side business I breed and show Arabian horses and half Arabians saddlebreds. I was 14 when I got my first horse Instead of getting a riding horse like most kids would do, I decided to buy a broodmare, which is a female horse used for breeding, so I could breed my own riding horses. I bought this broodmare sight unseen, got two photos and literally a 10 second video clip. It is a very healthy hobby, that's what my dad thought at first, but he saw it as something that was going to keep me interested, keep me out of trouble, keep me focused, and, and it did, and it still does. We're in New Jersey at Smoke Hollow Farms. This is where I come out on the weekends to take my riding lessons to improve my own riding ability. I brought him here as an example of the type of horse that people buy for me and also the type of horse I breed, as well as what people would do with the horses that they buy for me. You get the overall picture. It's not just I'm selling a horse, but there are all these other things involved with it. A lot of my clients are amateurs at show. They're adult amateurs, they're children, or they're actually families where both the parent and the child shows. A lot of the people that buy from me, they like the fact that they're able to bond with these horses. They can go in their stalls, they know they're safe, they can trust their kids around them. So I just wanted to show how well behaved it is. That's really important to, to people that do this for fun. They want to be able to enjoy that time. Some people go to the gym to burn off steam and, and relieve stress. Some people come to the barn. So this is Merch. His bar name is Merch. His registered name is Hey Yeah. I finished my MBA at Baruch. Taking the MBA courses, you start to learn really what is a business plan, how to really develop one. Not only a business plan, but also like a, a financial plan, a marketing plan. There are all these different components to it. You realize how important each sector is within your, within your business. You can't focus on one without focusing on the other have to be very careful how you organize your business. One, you should always have a business plan. Uh, same thing with breeding horses. You have to have a business plan, short term and long term, obviously. Separate bank accounts for your horse activities versus your personal. Having a website, showing marketing campaigns of any sort. So these are all really important factors in separating a business versus a hobby. So I have three foals coming next year. One's already sold. The other two are being will probably be marketed. Um, have already interested parties in those two, but the long-term plan is to keep breeding foals like I am, selling them to amateurs who compete, and uh, possibly retaining another filly or two for my breeding program. I don't know if I'd want the pressure of having to turn this into a full-time business and, and being around it. I enjoy my time here. It's my home away from home in a sense whole plan is for me to take over my dad's tax business eventually. Tax business works out great with the horse show industry. Uh, breeding season is during busy season so I don't have to worry about being at the barn as much because we're busy breeding mares more so than anything else and then show season is my tax season slow season. So making it full-time possibility would I want to do it I don't know if I think it would take away from some of the enjoyment. Plus I'm a New Yorker at heart. We'd have to leave the city full-time. <laughs>